Welcome to early game Shinobi build for Neo 2, you ninjutsu spamming bastards. This one is kinda special because it isn't your run of the mill focused on one thing type of build. Instead I have tried to create something a bit unique but still powerful enough to be called OP during early game. If you recall fighting any ninja in the game, they always have such variety of attacks, from sure hands, bombs, poison, paralysis and whatnot. So my goal was to create something similar. Kusarigama is weapon of choice even though you can play with fists as well. I have chosen Kusarigama because fists early game build has been already done on the channel. Before we start with the build I have to explain what early game means in Neo so there is no confusion. It means first playthrough more or less, not first couple of regions or levels. In this case it is for first 150 levels or so. Max character level is 750 and there are 4 more difficulties beyond starting one and end game content on top of that called Abyss and Depths. New difficulties unlock one after another by completing set number of missions. Early game builds that I'm doing are for first playthrough for the most part and they change a bit as you progress due to better equipment becoming available over time. You can play with same exact gear however for many playthroughs as long as equipment level corresponds your own. That is done by soul matching gear at the blacksmith which is quite expensive or acquiring smithing techs that allow crafting gear at your level. Before levels 50 and 60 builds are not really possible, at least not very effective ones. Up until then it is best to go for balanced stat distribution with additional points into dexterity in this case, but also make sure to match requirements of the armor set you plan on using. At around level 150 stats should look something like this. High dexterity is a must. Skill at 17 is there to match flying kato set requirements in case you don't have smithing text. 15 points into magic is enough for all the basic stuff. From here on out continue leveling dexterity mostly with additional points into heart and constitution. Main weapon is Kusarigama with corruption element. Corruption is great to have on a weapon because it works fantastic against humans. Versus yokai enemies we just have to apply purification talisman and they are fucked. We are prepared for anything in this case. Special effects should revolve around active skills as usual. Secondary weapon is part of flying kato set. This set is great for ninjutsu based stuff. Just look at the bonuses. Look! Look! On top of all these great ninjutsu bonuses we get increased damage based on our ninjutsu power. At this point with this build it equals set somewhere between 15 to 20 percent. To get most out of this build you have to get these bonuses on armor pieces. On helmet ninjutsu power, chest piece untouched ninjutsu and ninjutsu power, gloves untouched ninjutsu, ninjutsu power with additional bomb, kunai and sure hand damage if possible, pants ninjutsu power and slippers ninjutsu power. On accessories there are many good bonuses you can have, but not every accessory can get untouched ninjutsu which is the most important one. After that good bonuses are melee damage versus poisoned enemy, ninjutsu power, damage over time, ninjutsu bonus amrita gauge and life drain ninjutsu hit. All of these are good to have, but most important one is definitely untouched ninjutsu. Early game sets you can use instead of flying kato are typical ones like Shinto, Master Archer, Golden Gourd. If you want to be ninja however then Shinobi and Fuma Ninja are also valid options. Quick slots should look like this. Get about the same number of each item as I have in this case. Guardian Spirit of Choice is Nekomata because of many great bonuses. You might see thrown weapon damage bonus and immediately think holy shit that is good. Tell me honestly, what the fuck are you going to do with 5% damage bonus? Nothing, that is what. Instead check out other bonuses. Anima bonus through cumulative damage. 
great with low stance Kusarigama basic combo. Anima bonus ninjutsu hit is fantastic for us. Yokai ability damage Fera plus 20% is incredible in this instance because we are going to use Kasha Yokai ability frequently during fights and Kasha is feral. On top of that we have Rokuro Kubi which increases anima bonus when hitting scorched enemy and Kasha sets enemies on fire. Yokai ability damage increases even further against poisoned enemy by 20%. If you can get Kasha core with Yoka ability damage special effect, you just struck gold. Another good option is Ipon Datara instead of Rokuro Kubi that increases Yoka ability damage when enemy is set on fire. Lastly, get yourself Oni B that increases elemental damage and can apply elemental effect on the weapon. Good secondary guardian spirit is Amenomitori because of lightning damage effect bonus. My main Shadow Arts choice are Raijin Feathers, which are lightning damage based. That is why Amenomitoria's secondary guardian spirit is a good choice. Good starting guardian spirit is Makami. After Makami, go for Usurahicho. From Kusarigama skill tree we need low stance combo with Tangle Strike as combo ender. Summer Twilight buff is a must have and on top of that add Reaper. Both mystic arts are fine here depending on what you like to use more, low stance quick attacks with tangle strike or Reaper. Get blue nodes of course as well. From Omnio we need protection and purification. Slot is optional but not needed. From Ninjutsu get lightning and water shadow arts. I use these with Purification and Corruption to apply Confusion. Kasha also helps in this case and because she is far based we don't need Flaming Hair on Shadow Art. Pinwheel Shuriken is probably the most important throwable here. It is fantastic because it strikes enemy two times and second one hits the back which deals additional damage. Then we need Enhanced Shrapnel Bomb which is simply amazing especially against large enemies. Get passives Bomb Making, Ninja Tool Mastery and Throne Blade Technique. How to apply Poison I leave to you. Personally I like to spam Poison Shurikens, but there are other great options such as Toxic Ground Fire and Blister Bomb. From Shiftling Tree, stick to right side. Most important upgrade path is one in the middle that ends with Anima gain increase. Anima and Kasha Yokai ability are big part of this build. Clan we want is Takegawa because of Ninjutsu power increase. Make sure to donate stuff to Clan so that Ninjutsu power is increased. So how to play this build? It is not an easy one to play, even though it might seem simple. Problem is that Pinwheel Shurikens and Enhanced Shrapnel Bombs best work from close range and animation is quite long. This means you will be open to attacks, so positioning is crucial here. You might ask, why the hell didn't you just go for normal kunais and other shuriken types? Well, because everyone did that already. It's boring and I wanted to try something a little bit different, alright? Here is step by step guide how to play this. Protection and Elemental stop Talismans first. Purification Talisman afterwards, but only if fighting Yokai bosses. Kusari Gamma buff. Poison the enemy. And now we start roleplaying Shinobi. It would be good first to cast Shadow Arts to apply one of the elements besides fire. After that, it would be ideal to start hitting enemy with Kusari Gamma quick attacks from low stance to apply purification or corruption. You can use Reaper even if positioning is good. Shadow Arts and Kusarigama element combined create confusion status. On top of that Kasha applies Scorch status and does lots of damage on its own, so always use Yokai ability when available. It is crucial part of this build and it also helps in creating confusion status. Confusion element lowers defense among other benefits, so throwables will do more physical damage to confused enemies. 
Now it is just a matter of combining pinwheels, enhanced bombs, kusarigama attacks using kasha and reapplying poison. Problems come from multiple boss missions where we simply don't have enough things to spam for all of them in some cases. Try to save up ninjutsu items in that case by using kusarigama and kasha mostly. We have options thankfully, but in these cases we have to be careful not to overuse them. All of this requires practice, so don't be disheartened if it doesn't work how you have imagined it first dozen times or so. Every boss now and then needs a bit of adjustment and a different mix of positioning and item usage. Anyway, that would be it for this one, thank you for watching and enjoy!